multiplying by a negative, it just means you're times by negative one. If you want to put a if you want to put a coefficient there. Okay. So it's going to be like negative one times four p. So that's going to be minus four p. Yeah, it would be negative times four. Negative one times like four p is positive, right? So change the negative, and then negative one change the plus one. With that piece of wisdom, Lindsay, can you please multiply this bracket for me, please? Not so you know, I said Lindsay, go ahead. Negative five times two p is going to be? Negative ten p. Good. Very good. Awesome. So you guys see what we're doing there, right? Negative five gets multiplied by the both. What? What I'm going to do right now is to help. Is I'm going to collect like terms. You can do this in a whole bunch of different ways, but I'm just going to put all my p's on the left. Can somebody tell me what all my p's are going to be on the left hand side? Yeah, go ahead. Three, 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 three plus four p plus ten p, right? Uh, no, no, sorry, minus four p. Right. It stays in right because remember that negative is the same with four. Can it be minus? Or no? Nope. You're right with the plus. Now hold on a sec. So Leah said 10, and so it shouldn't be negative 10. Why is it plus 10? Plus 10 is actually correct. Yes. Yes. It started as a negative 10 on the right. When you bring it to the left, it's going to put the positive. So, can I? Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. So basically, like, it's not just if it goes to the left, it's negative to the right, it's positive. No, no, there's no, there's no specific rule. So it's always if, if you switch, it just goes negative or positive. Yeah, it flips opposite from what it and was. And the sign like every just Yes. Okay, can someone else be brave? What are the, I'll put up, somebody put all the numbers on the right for me. Aiden, since you didn't want me to give you Spider-Man at the beginning, can you put all the numbers on the right for me right now, please? Yeah. 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 Awesome. Okay. So what he did was the negative 15 and the plus 1 were already there. Positive 21 came across to be negative 21. Positive 1 came across to be negative 1. Okay. Nicole, you're up. What is, oh, sorry, is that an answer or question? Yeah, if okay. one of the ones came across to negative 1 to the positive, then why did, oh, the other one. Yeah, to, it was mm -hmm. basically what happened was this one didn't, like, now. Nah. Oh, okay. This is this, so right? Oh, like, yeah. those for the same. No, no brackets. As soon as you multiply, as soon as you multiply in the first step, Joel, the brackets are gone. This is a good question. I'm loving this. Yes. All right. Nicole, you're up. What is 3p minus 4p plus 10p equal to? Now, I'll tell you the way I do this in my head. Do you know how I do this in my head? I do all the positives first. So I say 3 plus 10 is 13. And then 13 minus 4 is. Okay, so that's how I do it. If you want to know how I do it, because my head is like that. Well, Mr. Seth, yeah. you, well, at the top in the equation, oh. negative 5 bracket 2p plus 3. It's not a plus 3, it's negative. Oh no. Was it? Yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't do that to me. Seriously? Oh, goodness. Yeah, I wrote down, I wrote Mr. Salad made a mistake right at the beginning. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, okay. It's not just in calculus, this happens, okay? It's in every class. Okay. That was a minus, you said? Yes. Okay, I got that Okay, so that's a plus. That's a plus, then. That's all it changes, two pluses. That's all it changes, two pluses. Yeah. Why would you do Why would you do first? No, this is negative one. Three <laughs> times four p is negative one p. Because you're one last, right? So negative one p plus ten is going to be nine. Because right? three minus four is like less than one. All right. Fifteen plus one is sixteen. Minus twenty one is negative five. Minus one is negative six. Yeah. Can you please confirm that for me? Yeah. We're good. Final step. We're up to Cody or to you. Final step is what? Divide by nine. <laughs> now this is where I need everyone to be awake and alert. I say that p is equal to negative six over nine. Am I right? No. No, no I'm certainly not right. Sorry. What is it correct? Uh, uh, 
is sorry, not in those terms. Two over three. So P is actually equal to negative two over three. Now, let's say you said, Mr. Sadler, I count that I told you the answer was um, negative zero point six 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 six. Yes, it did. Okay, but we're not going to use decimals when use fractions always. Okay, on your test, I will write on the, the first page. I'll whenever you guys through, I will say, please leave all your answers in fraction form. Okay. Now again, John, John. No, you can't. Take it out, please. Um, when we take the, when we uh, take these out, when, when we when we uh, solve these, you should almost always use a calculator. You can use a calculator on your test, but um, we want to get this prep for this. You can do without any without any rough one. Do I still need to do number five, or can I get teaching finally? I'm just looking for number five. I'm not going to do number five, I don't think, because five was sort of like this. Can I skip five? Because five was similar to this, whoever was asking five. Because five was very much like this in the second example. Okay. I'm going to get uh, stop on my video. And then we're going to start the lesson. You've got 60 seconds to talk. Thank you very much for the book amongst yourselves.